You know, Guido, a lot can change in a couple of days. Welcome to the modern metropolis of Ragdollsburg. This is a brand new modern city created by all of those slaves which we liberated. Wow, these guys have done really well for themselves. Agreed, buddy. Now, Ragdollsburg offers many things. Stunning scenic vistas, incredible local businesses, gorgeous real estate to rent or purchase. Yes, Ragdollsburg is the place to be. Hello there, townsfolk. It is I, the great Liberator Steve. How are you all doing? Um, I don't think they know who I am. Guys, Steve the Adventurer? I kind of freed all of you from a life of slavery? Oh, this is ridiculous. Let me see what's going on here. Steve, I don't think they know who you are. No, no, Guido. You've just got to give them a few minutes. I'm sure they'll start to recognize me any second now. I swear to the Cosmic Princess, this better be a picture of me. Are you kidding me? I am the hero. I saved you all. All of you. I saved you, your children's children. You wouldn't even be putting up that statue if it wasn't for me. Seriously? You know, I was heading here to greet you all and be super nice and friendly, but you know what? Screw it. I'm going home and I... Oh. Oh gosh, sorry about that, Guido. Quite hungry. But we just had breakfast like two minutes ago. Guido, you've known me long enough to realize that that simply doesn't matter. I want some food. I want some burgers. Hi there, I'd like your finest burger, please. Now, it doesn't look like you have a menu, so I guess I'll just go ahead and take this one. And I- Ah, oh, Steve the Adventurer. Just the person I was hoping to talk to. Um, yeah, can I help you? No, 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 my friend. The question is, can I help you? So, how about a quest? You see, Ragdollsburg is not as peaceful as you would make it out to be. In fact, kidnappings take place every night. The people of this town think they are safe, but they know they are living on borrowed time. If only there was some brave adventurer out there who could guard the town and keep us all safe. Oh, oh, pick me! We'll do it, won't we, Guido? Steve, this is a really bad idea. What if something goes wrong? Nonsense, Guido. Nothing ever goes wrong when we're involved. You're on, Burger Boy. I shall return later tonight to guard the town. Alright, Guido. I'm kind of regretting signing up for this now. Steve, I'm scared. Don't be scared, buddy. All that could go wrong is that we could be kidnapped ourselves, or we find out exactly who is doing the kidnapping, but that's exactly what we said we were going to do. We were going to patrol the streets, looking out for any kind of criminal activity, and I- What the heck was that? Okay, <laughs> I'm not scared. Look, let's just check out some of these buildings. Perhaps the kidnapper is waiting in there. Hello? Anyone in here? Dude, this is horrible. Oh gosh, there's so many tight corners and... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sick. Hello? Anyone around? Can we see anyone from high up here? I don't really think that we... Okay, that's not my fault. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, this part of town always gave me the creeps. Look at it. It's the old fisherman lake, with no fishermen. Interesting. There's some kind of abandoned building over here. Perhaps something is going on over there. I have no idea. I think the only way we're gonna find out is if we actually check this place out. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> it's so dusty and old. Yeah, Guido, you can see why they decided to put this abandoned building right at the back of town. You know, this is really bad for tourism. I mean, if someone fell through this giant gap in the floor and broke both of their legs, yeah, that would lose the town a lot of money. And I don't really, what the heck? That sounded like it came from this way. All right, buddy, we've got no time to waste. It's time to figure out exactly what's going on here. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it sounds like some kind of vehicle is about to set off. We've got to hurry, it must have been at this abandoned military camp. Hopefully we'll be able to get in. I have no idea what the security is going to be like in this abandoned military base. Maybe I'm just gonna get shot straight away, I have no idea. Okay, oh, no, the door just kind of opened straight up. Okay, it must be one of these cars. Let's just, let's try hop in the back here. Steve, no, we have no idea where we could be taken. Well, Guido, I guess that's the fun part. Keep him locked away for now, and then we'll add him to the stockpile. Or tomorrow, it will finally be time. 
Well, Guido, I have no idea where we are, but those guards really need to put better locks on those doors. I just kind of walked out. Oh, Steve, I knew something like this would happen. I know, Guido, and you did try tell me. I'm sorry, buddy. Look, there's no point in us just standing around here. We need to get out of this place. Okay, it looks like we're in some kind of compound. Even the air looks poisonous. What are these weird particles floating around? Okay, let's try, let's try get out. Hello? Is anyone here? Okay, looks like we're safe right now. I think we're good. It's weird, you would think that in this giant facility, there would at least be someone guarding the place. What the heck's going on here? Hello? Friends? Oh my gosh, these must be the ragdolls which have been kidnapped. Oh, that is not good. Okay, there's a gun. We'll probably be needing this. Guys, wake up. I need you guys to wake up. We need to get out of here right now. I am so sorry. I just accidentally shot you. That is that is my bad. All right, don't worry, guys. I'll come back for you. Look, have some of these med kits. You guys need them more than I do. There you go. Okay, let's see if we can actually sneak out of this place, Guido. I think I remember the way back. Ah, uh, Steve, you were unconscious. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, who the heck is that? Hello? Are you good? It's just this random dude here. Do we pop him? Is he a guard? Are you a guard? Are you? Oh, jeez, he's a guard. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, I'll take this. I mean, he's kind of stood up straight, so if any of the other guys walk by, they might see this guy and be like, Hey, Bill, how you doing? You just having a nice rest? When in fact, we just shot him in the head. Okay, let's leave him there and let's see what we can do here. I need to check these corners. Uh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, all sorts of weird noises are going on right now. I think we found the weapons room. There's a whole bunch of shields here. Lord of Hell shield, I'll take that. Lord of Vikings, Lord of Lords, Lord of Viking shield again, Lord of Silver. It looks like these are all rare and weird items. That's very strange. Okay, through here we have weapons. Lord of Lord sword, Lord of Ice sword, Lord of Hell mace. What the heck is this? It's almost like some kind of, some kind of collection. Whoa, 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 what the heck is this? It looks like something has broken out of this chamber. This is... Yeah, this is weird. Nothing on these tables though, so I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll go back the way we came. Try figure out exactly what the heck is going on here. I was kind of drifting in and out of consciousness. I heard something about being locked away, someone's babies needing to be fed. Now Guido, I'm not sure about you, but I don't have any babies. I mean in the Stick War Legacy Di- Oh jeez, I was about to say, in the Stick War Legacy Dimension, you are the one with a girlfriend. So maybe that's the only way babies would uh would happen, but it looks like it looks like there's some guards right there. Okay, I think I took down one. No, he's still up. Okay, did I get him? I got one. And yes, there's two. Okay, but what exactly are they guarding here? Containment block warning? SCPs ahead? No. No, 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 Guido. I am not going in there. SCPs? Doesn't that stand for seriously cute pets? Um, yeah, sure, Guido. That's exactly what it stands for. Look, we need to get out of here. There's no reason for us to be hanging around here when there's SCPs about. Just follow me, we'll eventually get out of this maze. Okay, let's try going this way. Huh, you're too much of a coward to go in, eh? Fine, I'll go in myself. Hello? Is anyone there? My name is Guido. I'm gaming utility in database operation. What the heck is that? Attention, all SCP containment staff. It is time to let our children feast. Oh no, Guido, the SCPs are released. Oh my goodness, they're charging this way. My bullets aren't doing anything to them. I need to get out of here right now. Sorry, ragdoll friends, I've got to go. Okay, let me try go this way. Is he still following me? Hello, friend? Oh jeez, he's right there, he's right there. Okay, let me try and take him down. Is he like invulnerable or something? What the heck is this? Die! Get out of here! Oh my goodness me! Oh, he's got two of those flaming swords. Get back! Get back! How long will it take before you die? Okay, let me get up this ladder. I've only got 11 bullets. No! I'm stuck! Okay, I'm good. I'm not good. I'm not... <laughs> get out of here! Okay, let me climb up here if I can. It's just taking me so long. What the heck is going on here? Um, am I safe? Okay, it seems like they're leaving me alone for a bit. This is good. Okay, I just don't understand why I can't climb up this ladder. I need an aerial shot here. I need to see exactly what's going on. Okay, can I actually climb up this thing? Yes, I can. Okay, <gasps> there's some kind of helicopter right there. Okay, where are these SCPs? They've kind of, they've kind of gone their separate ways. 
What the heck? Don't worry, Steve. I found this secret weapon. Oh, what weapon, Guido? Uh, oh my gosh, you gave me a fire sword. Okay, we may now have what it takes to take on all of these SCPs. Oh, he's back. Oh, geez. We've got to nail this. Oh, oh, I chopped his arms off. We killed him in one go. That was amazing. Okay, avoid that flaming body there. I need to get to where the med kits are. Those are the only way we can heal ourselves, I think. I wonder if I can pick up more than one. Oh, no, this is the wrong way. If I could pick up, like, more than one fire sword, that would be awesome. I might have to take one of these shields now. These are just ammo kits. This is not what I need. All right, SCPs, if you'll go easy on me, that would be fantastic. Oh, jeez, what the heck is that? Let me try to take it down from the range. I don't think we... Oh, my gosh, I don't think we can. He's keeping... He's coming and coming. I can't stop him. Stand back. Okay, he's still approaching. This is really bad. I'm blasting him with literally everything I've got. Shooting his feet, shooting his head, shooting everything. Okay, it's time to try this sword. Yes, we chopped his arms off. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's just reload up here. We don't have much ammunition left. What the heck is that? Okay, um, is there any ammunition? Oh, those fire swords. No, they disappeared. That is really bad. Okay, let me try blast this guy. But we don't have many bullets left. In fact, we're down to our final 10. Hopefully, my flaming sword is going to be enough to take this guy on. It looks kind of just like a big version of the previous guy. Maybe he'll set himself on fire as soon as he goes over this body. No, he did not. Okay. Charge. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Is he immune? Are you kidding me? He's just on fire. Uh, Guido, what do I do? Do I go for the chopper? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this guy is terrifying. Maybe there's some kind of weapon out here we can use. Can I just pop in the chopper and fly away? I don't think we can. Okay, come on and die. Oh my gosh, he's still coming. Okay, it's time to get in the chopper. It's time for us to get out of here. Go, go, go. <sighs> ah, Guido, I can't quite believe we survived. Hey guys, how you doing? Nice to see you all doing well. Ah. <sighs> Okay, we've got to tell this guy exactly how our day went. So there's this super secret facility, right? I actually only found it by jumping into the back of a van. It was super damp, super terrifying, and I actually thought I was going to die. But then we arrived at this facility, and there was this dude with this really deep voice who said he was going to feed me to his babies. Anyway, those babies turned out to be SCPs.